I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm assuming it was her, but also I can also probably take credit in also doing that too. Using the guitar pick stylus? No, 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 no. C uh, putting scratches on the touchscreen. It could have been me for all I know. But Valerie was also using them with that too, so. And I knew it was from the Guitar Hero game because that was the only game where you would use the touchscreen intently. Like, intensely, you know? Mm hmm. Besides Scribble Nuts. I never played Scribble Nuts, I'm sorry. Fair enough. The closest thing I played to that was like Scribble Nuts was Drawn to Life. Drawn to Life, or if you remember. Or if you remember this from the DS, remember Picto Chat? Oh, no. That came <laughs> with the DS. Dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> how many people How many people out there who play, had a DS when they used Picto Chat, they draw dick pics? There was literally a... every time I was using Picto Chat with like my sister or with uh, a buddy of mine from high, uh, back in the day. Someone, I, I'm not saying it was me, but someone would be drawing a dick pic. Oh, that's funny. I still like the fact that they added a Picto Chat arena for Smash Brothers. Yeah, I think. Because it made sense. I think the first Picto, yeah, the first Picto Chat stage was on the Brawl on the Wii. Yeah. So, and then it just got Picto Chat two stage uh, on. Smash 4, and then also for Smash Ultimate. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah. The, the five games that I would play constantly on the DS, that's not Game Boy Advance games that you can do on the port, but like the actual DS games. Mm. You can name two of them right off the bat. Because they're both from the same... Uh, both the same games with different gens. That's not Game Boy Advance, so I'm gonna say Platinum and then Black 2. Okay, three games. Okay, okay, that, then that's six games. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I called it, I called it. Because I've played play Black Version 2 a lot, and I also played Platinum a lot. But you know what's the other Pokemon game I played a lot? Heart Gold? Soul Silver. Uh, you had the, okay. I had Soul Silver. Uh, there was this guy back in back in high school, when I was in high school, like junior high, uh, Bob's work. Remember him? He had Heart Gold. Oh. The problem was we didn't know how to. Shit. We didn't know which. Uh, see, at the time, back when phones were still in their, uh, was still in their infancy up to the things. Oh, like the flip phones? Yeah. Before Android was a thing. Yeah, back when flip phones were still, you know, popular. So we didn't have, the only way to figure out uh, what Pokemon were in the, uh, which version, like, which exclusive Pokemon were exclusive to. You had to actually look it up. Yeah, on the computer, or if you were lucky, you bought the freaking Brady Games Guide. Brady Games Guidebook. Hmm. Which bot had? <laughs> well, that was easy, right? Yeah. Like figuring out which ones, like since he had that guide, so he knew which. Well, the one. thing was, we didn't know where certain objects, uh, certain things were at, like metal coat. Oh. So you couldn't find them. You couldn't, I couldn't find. Get, I couldn't. That you know, the first time I ever got a uh, scissor was in uh, uh, Sword and Shield. Really? <laughs> yep. Oh, no, it's that poor. <laughs> yeah, so it was Bob Zork, uh, Zachary Rieger, and JC Alexander. They all had, uh, and I think Andrew Bumgarner too, had, all had Pokemon games. But the first three had freaking Hard Gold Soul Silver. Andrew uh, Baumgartner, I'm guessing, had like a... Black version 2. Black version 2? Well, he had, I think he had white version 2. Maybe? I can't remember. I know you had black version 2, because you played it constantly on the bus. Hey! What do you expect? It's a good Pokemon game. I know. That and also, I was over. I looked over his shoulder because you usually sat in front of me. Yeah. I usually just pop my hand and say, what are you playing? 
And then come around freaking, I think it was 2012 or 2013, and then next thing you know, uh, you see me playing Pokemon Y. Yeah, and I was bummed out because I didn't, I didn't have, you had a 3DS, I did not. Yeah. I was bummed out about that. Because I didn't have the money to get, get, uh, get it. <laughs> and I even begged for my, like, for my birthday or Christmas to be, if that happened as a kid. Yeah. But we just didn't have the money for it. <laughs> So I missed out on a lot. Yeah, you missed out on Gen 6 and 7. Which, to be fair... The, uh, Gen 6 is okay. It's just, like, regular Pokemon with the Mega Evolutions included. Yeah, I missed out on Mega Evolutions, and I missed out on... The, the, the Z-moves. Yeah, the Z-moves. And it's weird, considering there's freaking uh, Z-moves that are exclusive to certain Pokemon, too. Yeah. Say for instance the like Rayquaza. No, Rayquaza doesn't have a specific Z move. He just has Delta Stream, which helps oh. Omega evolve. Yeah, that's right. See it? See, I'm so out of tune with that. <laughs> with that I know. Uh, there's one for uh, Pi no. there's one for Pikachu. That's uh, the Z move is called. Uh, I think it's a uh, one million volt thunderbolt. Dude, if you get struck by that, you would be ashes. Literally, ash would turn to ash. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what was it? Yeah, I missed out on so much, so much of that. Well, look on the bright side. You know for a fact that the new Pokemon game that when it comes out, uh, Legends Legend, ZA. Legends ZA. You're. We're, get, we're getting it. Mm-hmm. Hell, we might pre-order it. Because, if I remember correctly, if you pre-order it, you get, like, a bonus or something. But we gotta know what the bonus is before we decide to pre-order it. True, and where to pre-order it from. Most likely GameStop. Or, if we're lucky, digital download on the Switch. Yeah, because, who knows? Like, pre-ordering... Pre-ordering something uh, like digitally, uh, sometimes they have their benefits. Sometimes, sometimes they don't. I know one for one for sure that had benefits when pre-ordering was uh, Sonic Frontiers for me, because uh, it gave me uh, it gave me stuff to immediately level up to like so level fifteen. I don't do pre-orders that much because I always miss out on them because I don't know uh, where to find the pre where to go to for the pre-orders. But the first pre-order I remember doing, this is a while back too, uh, I pre-ordered GTA 5 when it first came out in 2013 mm. on 360. And if I remember correctly, all it gave me was a boost in money. It gave me a ton of money to start with. Mm. And it kept that, you know, every time you do a new game, you get set amount of money to begin with. Yeah. But the thing was, once I got a PS4, and I bought a, PS, a PS4 version, the updated version, yeah, I didn't get to see that anymore. Oh, oh, now I remember. And this one. Oh, Sundancer. This one is complete bullshit too. Oh, the pre-order. <coughs> my older brother, my oldest brother, Josh, he pre-ordered Mass Effect 3. Oh no. And he gave the arrival DLC, which gives you a squad mate, which kinda ticked me off because that squad mate could was oh had you very unique moments in certain main missions. And if you did not have them, you're missing out on all that, and I felt like I was getting robbed. Oh, no. And he was like, I'm glad I pre-ordered it. And I was like, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> so I missed out on Javik. I missed out on Javik until I got the freaking Legendary Edition. Because for some stupid reason, yeah. Um, I had Mass Effect 3 on the 360, 
And when I was getting the DLCs for it, yeah. I did not see the arrival DLC at all on there. Oh, no. Because it was no. a pre-order only. So I'm missing out a lot. <laughs> and then finally you got that fixed when you got the Legendary Edition. Yeah, I was, I was happy that they included him. Because a lot of people were angry that he was locked in a, in a pre-order DLC. Not just a DLC, a pre-order. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't get that unless you bought, like, the special edition or something like that. Which cost, by the way, at that time, 60 or 70 bucks. So, I was like, am I really going to spend 60 or 70 bucks to upgrade my game to another game to the same thing? Because basically, if you wanted this particular DLC, you're going to have to spend 70 bucks. So, I was like... Yeah, I wouldn't... But the Legendary Edition, when I bought it... Why do game companies do that? Uh, so they can get more money out of people, that's why. Plus, also, you gotta realize, Mass Effect 3, when it was created, it was run by... It, even though Bioware made the game, the company that was, you know, funding it was EA. It's kind of self-explanatory. That is true. Because you know how freaking... Uh, you know how EA is with their money. Take I mean, the freaking Loot Crate stuff, for example. Yeah, the Loot Crate incident with uh, Battlefront 2. That was so bad that they got rid of the Loot Crate system and unlocked everything. Yep. The only time you ever encounter a Loot Crate in Battlefront 2 now is if you complete a certain milestone and it had a, you know, a certain skin or a certain gun attachment. That would show up. That's yeah. not it. You, you can't buy loot, uh, buy loot crates in that game at all. Yeah, you gotta earn them from the milestones. Yeah, some of the milestones are ridiculous. Really? Like, you had to kill 5,000 enemies as Darth that. Maul or something. Yeah, to unlock Darth Maul's uh, uh, outfit from, like, Clone Wars and stuff. You know, with the robotic legs? Yeah. Which, out of the way, that's more badass looking than how he was in Phantom Menace. <laughs> so I'm missing out on that because of that. Now it's Battle Passes. See, if only uh, some of the companies could have kept the Battle Passes for people to buy and earn the stuff from them. Say, for instance, Activision. Because they could have kept the Battle Passes with some Call of Duty games. Yeah, there are certain... Okay, so he we have Clone Wars... Uh, Cold War, <laughs> and uh, only three Battle Class Greatest Hits, that's what they're called, are only there, and not all six. So we missed out on the basic outfit for Mason and certain other uh, characters. Yep. Plus also those limited time only operator skins that pissed me off, because one of them was Ghostface. Yeah. And when they brought back the, oh, what's his name? The guy who does the voice of Ghostface. Like, it's like his job now at this point. They brought him back and did his voiceovers. And it was awesome. Yeah, that was freaking... I'm, and, and you can't get that. And I feel like, I missed out. <laughs> See, like I said, I was poor for a while. So I miss out on a lot of opportunities. <laughs> that was one of them. <laughs> now I'm... I'm gradually having money, so I'm able to get these certain things. But sometimes we're a little too late, am I right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's some things I just feel like that should have been included in the game and not a DLC exclusive or something like that. Yeah, the same thing goes with the... Uh... Like, remember when I told you about that one multiplayer match I had and I encountered someone using the Rambo skin? From, uh... Ram like, John Rambo. Oh, Rambo skin. You said Rambo. I don't know. I, I was talking about quick, so it's a gonna be a bit slurred. Yeah, the Rambo skin, yeah. You wanted that, didn't you? Yeah, but then again, it also pissed me off the fact that he just killed me randomly and started teabagging. <sighs> Dude, that is a challenge. See... Okay, there is a rule when it comes to teabagging. If they deserve it, that's a pass. But if you do it for no reason... Here's... Okay, or make it sound better. Uh, if you've been killed by a certain person over and over the entire match, and you finally kill that guy, that's a deserve. You, if you teabag him, you, he deserved it. But if he's killing you constantly, and every time he kills you, he teabags you, that's uncalled for. 
When, didn't you say there was one time you were playing a, a match and someone would... I don't remember if it was Call of Duty or uh, Battlefield, but every single time this guy killed someone, he would always teabag them? Yeah. Was that Battlefield? That was Battlefield. And I, and I uh, videotaped the part where I killed him and he quit afterwards. <laughs> Literally, I looked up to the scoreboard and I saw his gamer tag. He didn't die once until I shot him. That's funny. He was, uh, he was level 150 on Battlefield 1. That's max level. Did, did you like? So he was an, so, and he was also clammed up too. That's funny. I killed him once, and he got pissed off, and he left. And I was like, "Well, oh, there's that." Oh, he lost his perfect game. But uh, I did kill him with the old Brez pistol, so. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I mean, don't get me wrong. I died almost immediately after I killed him, but I still killed him. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one right there. Box out. I mean, I went to the wrong freaking pipe. Simmer for seven minutes. I don't know how long you've been already. So I'm seven minutes. That's FPS games for you nowadays. So compared, yeah, that's true. What? They said uh, that's FPS games for you nowadays. So competitive. For, yeah, for the fun of it, and also to hopefully power up, like, at least, like, level up some of the weapons. Yeah, or your character, whatnot, unlock certain things, skills, whatnot. Yeah. And then there's people who play on it like they're gonna win money if they, if they win or something. And I've seen, like, public matches where people do esports moves, and it's like, really? I was like, dude, if you're gonna do that, go to join esports. <laughs> I kind of wish uh, I could encounter... Don't get like, me wrong, there are, uh, if you have a couple of friends who want to do trick shots, that's one thing. But if... Like, in the round with a 360 no-scope. Yeah, but if you keep doing that constantly, that's kind of... You know, i am like, we lo you, you lost me when you did it the 10th time in a row. Agreed. Yep. But, uh, and also, that's so, what, 2015? Mm-hmm. 360 no skill about do Greedos! Or, like, the classic one is, like, the smoke grenade ninja defuse when you're playing, like, search and destroy. Now, one of the tactics I've seen in Battlefield mostly uh, is uh, using a uh, smoke screen to help revive uh, care, uh, your teammates. Because when you throw the smoke screen, they cover up where you're at and also on the map as well. So you can go in and revive them real quick and get out of there so you won't get shot. Oh, that's on Battlefield? Them. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, if you play as the Medic, or if you play Battlefield Five, one of your squad mates, uh, or, yeah, one of your squad mates, if you're in a squad, regardless of who you are, you can revive them, but it, it'll take longer if you're not the Medic. But if you are the Medic, you can revive your squad and teammates. But if you throw in, like, a... Like a Smoke bomb or the, like a uh, uh, smoke smoke screen or something like that. Yeah. And cover them up while you're trying to revive them. You have a higher chance of not getting shot while trying to revive them. Though it's pretty ballsy when you when you revive them and there's no smoke around you. Yeah, that is pretty ballsy. Because you're literally a sitting duck, like out in the open. If someone's out in the open and they're like, "I need to revive," and you're like. Okay. <laughs> now that's some moves that are okay because, you know, you're trying to revive your buddy. Yeah. It's a pass. But when you're camping in a certain spot the whole match with the MG, and every time you uh, get killed by that person, they'll say on check, get good or something like that. That's where I'm like, dude, you get good. Stop camping. <laughs> NTF2 voice medic. Yep. That too. <laughs> medic. Trust. Uh, okay, I man, Team Fortress Two. That was some of some good time. There is a total of one million reviews on Team Fortress Two. Overall reviews very positive, but recent reviews it says very negative. Man, that's because. Old now. <laughs> it's 17 years old, 
and people have just started uh, just modding it or whatever. Yeah, because uh, uh, it's uh, Valve who owns it. They stopped like adding things to it, I think, now because they're more focused on uh, Overwatch 2 and all that stuff. That's not uh, Valve. That's Blizzard. Oh, Blizzard owns Team Fortress 2? No, Blizzard owns Overwatch. I thought Overwatch was owned by Valve as well. Mm mm. No. They're just supported by Valve. Ah, that's why. Because Blizzard is uh, also the ones that make, uh, what's it called, Hearthstone? Yeah. Didn't, don't Blizzard also make uh, Diablo? Uh, I don't think so. I can't, I can't recall. I feel like they also were the ones that made Diablo series. Valve abandoned Team Fortress 2 six years ago. Pretty much. Yeah, they're more fo focused on uh, other games. Man. What other games does Valve do? I know there's Half Life. Uh, they have, well, pff, yeah, if you're lucky in Half Life 3. Everyone's been asking that for almost 20 years. Mm hmm. Uh, same thing with Portal 2 and. Uh, oh, is Port Fortress 2 and uh, Counter Strike. <laughs> All those games don't have sequels because their classified is too good for a sequel. Well, I mean, we have Counter-Strike 2 now. Yeah, well, no, Counter-Strike, uh, there's no Counter-Strike 3. True. No, yeah, Half-Life, Portal, Steam, yeah. Steam. The guy who, who, uh, who owns uh, Valve also owns Steam as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they're more focused on Steam than anything else nowadays. So I don't blame them. I mean, it's a, a, it's a PC engine for gaming. Yeah. It's literally like the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live or, or Nintendo Online. Yeah, and they're, the PC. Yeah, and they're about to get placed a bunch of Steam PlayStation decks. games too. Yeah, and now they got the Steam Deck. The Ste which yeah. Which is literally just a copy and paste of a switch minus the you know nunchucks. but you can play PC games on that app. well I think certain games you can't play Steam uh, Steam games has valve support that's part of the way they don't release games or update them it sounds about right yeah yeah I think they just upgraded from making games to making engines to play games mm-hmm or supporting the games individually are mere crumbs. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, Steam rakes in millions, which is why TF2 and other games are abandoned. Right. Well, the only time they are ever played nowadays are in esports. Yeah. Because that's pretty much what you can get out of those now. I still remember. Counter Strike 2, uh, uh, I got the freaking Crimson Web Daggers, and I didn't think I would ever get those. Yep. And guess what happened with that? <laughs> that didn't work out well. No, my brother sold them on purpose. Sold what? The Crimson Web Daggers off of me. No! He did it on purpose to get back at me. Does he realize how much those are worth? Yep. He sold for five bucks. Just to, just to get at me. Those are worth a lot more than five bucks. Oh, I know. You know why he was getting back at me? Hmm. I accidentally killed him in uh, in Counter Strike. I accidentally killed him. Oh no. See, we made a pact that no matter what, we don't kill in, uh, each other if we're on opposite teams on anything. Yeah. And we were playing Counter Strike, even though we were, we were on opposite teams. He says, if I if you see me. He doesn't shoot me. If I see him, he doesn't. Sh if, if I see him, I don't shoot him. If he sees me, he doesn't shoot me. Yeah. Because he just doesn't want to be like, you know, get angry and stuff like that. Mm hmm. Well, I was in the middle of a reload <laughs> and my finger slipped and hit the trigger. Oh, <laughs> no. I was talking to him uh, through the thing and I'm, re I'm reloading real quick. And 
thing was, oh, I wouldn't say my finger slipped. Uh, I was, saw one of the his his teammates on the other team behind him about to shoot me, and I was trying to shoot them, and instead I shoot him in the process. No. And he was like, "What the hell? I told you, don't kill me." And I explained it to him and stuff like that, so he got back at me by selling my crimson web daggers. He had them too, so. He had the crimson web daggers too, so. I got back at him. I sold his crimson web daggers. But for far less than five bucks. Yeah. I sold them for a dollar. <laughs> hey, you tried to. Get... Believe me at that, never played Counter Strike ever. <laughs> oh, Sundancer said that uh, that whole thing is why they focus on PvE, way less toxicity between players. Yep. By the way, they're finally ready. Huh? They're finally ready. Nice. Want to play or a bowl? Uh, bowl. We need to start using the bowls. I need to get some coins. What about, you wanna know about Toxic? I was playing a Call of Duty match on Black Ops 3 and Friendly Fire was turned off. Oh, so you're able to shoot your teammates? Yeah. Oh no. See, I was, pl I was, uh, I was playing Sniper. Yeah. And I saw a guy walk by, I saw him and said, friendly down. I was like, oh shit. So he figured out who it was, it was me. He goes, why'd you kill me? I was like, dude, your gamer tag didn't pop up and die. And he just goes. Fair enough. But the thing was, he kept doing that every time I spawned back in. What the hell? He cost us the game for that. Because, uh, because... He was not focused on killing all the others, he was just focused on killing me only. What the hell? So I reported him. See, I had him apologize, and he still did it. Yeah, that- Oh shit! Yeah, that's very toxic of them. Because I said I didn't mean to kill you. His gamer tag didn't show up fast enough. Yep. Happy heart. Okay. Yeah, that that was that's one hell of a toxic person right there. I mean, it's one thing to just shoot me in retaliation because I killed you. But to do it over and over again, that's just 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 to get back at you. Constantly get to kill you just to get back at you. I say I say just the once or twice is good enough. You didn't need to do it like ten times or something. You did twenty five. Damn. Because you see the on the marker uh, how many friendly fire and stuff like that? Yeah. It said 25 on him and one on me. Yeah. And I died 26 times. And the one time that wasn't friendly fire was from an enemy, I'm guessing. Yep. And that was before he started killing me. Jesus. Yeah. Some, some guys, okay, maybe not some guys, but... A lot of people take their gaming too, a little too seriously. Yep. I'm like, if you're gonna put that effort into gaming, put that also into like your, you know, your normal life. Maybe go outside, you know, enjoy the fresh air, or if you're, or if you're lucky, unlike us two, uh, have a, go out on a date with your girlfriend or boyfriend, depending on who you are. True. But yeah, dude. Put that much effort into gaming like that. Put it into 
Yeah. That way people won't say you're toxic and uh, get you banned from certain games. Mm-hmm. Because I think that's what happened to him, because I didn't see him ever again. Because I reported him and a couple of others on, the, on my squad during that match before him as well. So he just straight up got banned altogether. I believe so. I'm just doing the first 10 levels of the Pit of 100 Trials real quick so I can get some coins. Some coinage. I'm like the mummy from Scooby-Doo. Coin, coin. Man, from like the original Scooby-Doo? Original Scooby-Doo. Dude, one of the most scariest episodes was the freaking Puppet Master from the original Scooby-Doo. Oh god, no. I never liked that one. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. Three, one, and zero. I remember these guys from freaking uh, Super Paper Mario originally, but apparently they started up here. Wait. <laughs> Mr. Krabs was... <clears throat> Sponge boy me bab, it's all about money. <laughs> I'm sorry, son, that you said that son dancer, I had to do it. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. Also, uh, just a little joke from Mar uh, joke from Mario's hat. Joke from Mario's hat, real quick. Yo, it's up to M for Mario. Change it to W, Wario. Like the whole thing where it's like, you have it set to Mumbo, change it to Wumbo. <laughs> Freaking. Jeez, it's been a good while since I've seen SpongeBob. Holy shit. Do I have a fire flower or something? I do have one. Okay. Momia. <laughs> Apparently, now that we're now that we're bringing up SpongeBob, I just remembered the fact of uh, I remember it was I saw a post on June first said like 22 years ago on June first, an iconic SpongeBob episode aired. What's to avoid if you have ebophobia? <laughs> I don't even think I don't even think I know what abophobia is. But yeah, uh, apparently, like iconic SpongeBob episode is now 22 years old. It's like they're selling chocolate, chocolate, 
I remember when they first invented chocolate. Oh, sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. SpongeBob is iconic, uh, very iconic. Uh, I'll read that in a second. Missed it. Okay. Fear of words spelled same forwards and backwards. That phobia. Oh! People? Actually, uh... That's an actual phobia? I didn't even know that. So... So people would freak out if, uh... Someone said something about Taco Cat or... Race Car. Because those are both spelled for, uh, the same way forwards and backwards. I never knew that. The phobia exists. Now here's the... Now here's the uh, biggest question though. That phobia exists. Does the One Piece exist? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not jumping down that rabbit hole. Never mind. I know for a fact, like, there's... What, like... There's more than 1100... Uh, episodes for One Piece. That is a lot. The One Piece. The One Piece. Is, <laughs> the One Piece. Is, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was going to pop in at some point. I missed it. Can't do anything with the uh, Goombella right now. Oof. It's just a little bit too early on that. I don't even know what freaking level I'm on right now. Seven? Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm just doing the first couple levels of this pit, and then I'm gonna leave because I, I just needed the coins.
So what's at the bottom of 100 levels? Uh, if I remember... Oh yeah, it's a... A really tough boss. So... What I think I might do is, uh... Like, I'm obviously streaming the game until the very end of it. And if I need to, I will do maybe another stream or recording of me going through the pit of a hundred trials like but that's like after I level up some because like see I have this save file which I'm using for the streaming I also have another save file which I play on my spare time the other save file I've already completed the game and I've uh, leveled up to like level 33 and I've gone down to the I've gone down to the very bottom of the pit and I've encountered that boss and I lost big time. Cause that boss was like Yeah, RPG problem level grinding. Well I've I've encountered some I've seen some easy ways of doing it, but also I come in like trying to figure out some tricks here and there to overcome it. Because the boss at the bottom of the pit has, like, 200 HP, and its attack power is, like, 7, I think? Or it might be 5. I can't remember. So that's why, uh... See, that's the main reason why uh, I'm trying to come up with some tricks on how to take that down easily. And let me tell you, the tricks are a bit tedious to do because I gotta do uh, some grinding at the casino first. And then I have to buy some badges. Do I have... Yes, I have three. Okay. So... Now that I got enough coins for both the uh, Head of the Thieves and also, if I remember correctly, I'm supposed to buy two items in a specific order. quick since I'm over here I might as well see I've already upgraded Goombella and uh, Madam Flurry I might as well also upgrade Coops as well there we go Nah, I can't power up anymore. You don't have the Ultra Stone, and I don't have any Shine Sprites right now. Costing 64 coins and no budget on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey, them's the breaks. Fine by me, y you'll pay. Really, yeah, you heard me. Yes, I mean, good call. You're shrewd businessman, 64 coins on the nose. Okay, then clean those ears out and listen here. At the store next to the Pianta Parlor in the west part of town, buy a dried mushroom, then a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. 
Dried mushroom? Dizzy dial. You got that? Do that, and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is. Your answer? Yellow. See? Yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's also comfy office. You got all that? Yep. I gotta freaking walk all the way over to the west side now. And also, I need to double check. Hmm. Uh, trying to see real quick. Because I need one more space. Yeah, dry then dial then yellow. Yep. I just... only I only have space in my bag for one more item, though. Uh, you know what? I think I'll store the gradual syrup, because I don't think I need that right now. I'm here to store an item. I want to... Actually, no. I'll store the ultra mushroom instead, because since that... Yeah, if only there was a way to take notes so we don't have to remember. That's funny. Oh, shit. I accidentally stored uh, two items. No, I want to store only the Ultra Mushroom. I don't need that right now since it restores 50 HP. And I only have a max HP of, like, 20. Okay, so Dried Mushroom. Then Dizzy Dial. Hey, mister. What color is your mustache? Really? Yeah, just for the hell of it. Yellow. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. <clears throat> okay, mister. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh. Oh, you check it out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianto. Good for you. Go through the door. Go on with your bad stuff. Jeez. This freaking boo. Uh, what's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got the beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want to? You want me to give you a ticket to, for the blimp? See, now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You ought to be. Oh my... <laughs> Sundancer! <laughs> oh my... Uh, Shinduru... Nani? You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crime babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on a rail bus? Look at him. What a rube. Most like pain funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so, not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough them up, but you got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting the ticket for the blimp. Oh, we did. What's that? You wanna help some bra that got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars. Mm hmm The crystal stars? A hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about an ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Um, excuse me, but uh, that's not true. The treasure is real. Honest. Everybody just 
Shut it. I don't care if the treasure treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl he's gone gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a you do me a little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Sure, we can do anything. What is it? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is... My own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewheres. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you got to do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly. And with what is known as extreme prejudice. Literally dragons and ghosts and superpowers and Im immortality exists, but this guy has doubts about an ancient treasure. <laughs> Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, though. Yeah, boss. Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's because you lugs can't find her that I got to swallow my pride and ask this time. I hope you don't seem making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? N no, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. <laughs> it just stiffen up. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So settle then, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear. If you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Not gonna lie, there are times whenever I... These guys are... Sundancer. <laughs> These guys are built like nerds, like from the camp. <laughs> oh man. I mean, you're not wrong. Maybe Nintendo uh, took the design of the Piantas based off of the nerds' candies. Who knows? Stand up comedian? No, you ought to be. Yep. 
Well, I mean, I still got a couple pieces left. Yeah, but the fact that you see a lot of it gone. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. Two. There's one dish that I remember. Two. Even if you paid me. Uh, Brussels sprouts? Okay, two dishes. <laughs> Alright, what's the main dish? Eggplant parmesan. Oh, no, 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 no. Eggplant parmesan? No. They tried to make me try, uh, try it a couple years ago. I was like, I'm good. Just the look of it alone. I mean, no, just the smell of it, I did not want it. Just the smell of it was bad enough for you. It made me want to eat Brussels sprouts. Jesus! That tells you a lot. Yep. Something that I hate with a passion. Uh, I would rather eat that than the eggplant parmesan because it was disgusting. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, look who's back. The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood? So give, what you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Yeah. Oh, is that a true fact? Rogue Port Arbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey! You two Nimrods, the kids are at the harbor. Now go get them! Daddy, wait. Francesca! <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I I'm sorry. Truly, I am. Frankie, so. Back you come, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who's... Wait. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. Sorry. Clean my glasses so I can't see the frickin' screen that well right now. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. <laughs> Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being that disloyal. You gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you want to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame. Right here. Daddy! Boss. <laughs> Enough! Quiet! Both of you! Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. You've been hit by, been struck by a nerd's criminal. <laughs> God damn it. And you, Frankie, you would like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you too. It's like a it's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Daddy, boss, I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad. No, wait. I mean, boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. I don't think that counts as a blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats. Both of you. Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out is a bit sappy, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell. And thank you. You're still here? 
Hmm. Well, we found my daughter and got her back. Got her to come back here. And just looking how things turned out, we're a complete and utter soap opera. <laughs> but hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Yahoo! Oh no, that guy's got a smile in ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. That door is a stand. I don't know if that's supposed to be a pun or not. God damn it. Now go on. Get your ugly mud out of my office. I've got some intense emotions to compartmentalize. Dear Mario, we can go to Glitzville. You're chaining jokes today, it was a pun. Yeah. I somewhat knew it, I just didn't know exactly. <laughs> 